into the sides. Clean, 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 clean. Can you guys see? Can you see better with this with the, the new table? It doesn't move. I feel like the tripod is not in my face so much anymore. Is your other table is like on wheels, right? Yes. So, it would move around. so when I would hit the the table or the tripod, I would always go earthquake. Mm -hmm. I shall use the cuticle remover on my toes. That's where I need it. Most. Are your cuticles uh, pretty thick on your toes? Anna says we can see great. Awesome. So we're using the Russian manicure drill bit set, which is, I think, so essential for everybody because it really has a little bit of everything when it comes to drill bits to really prep and clean out all that crusty molesty. Because remember, a clean nail is a happy nail. And Tony is saying back me up a little bit towards the nail. Or maybe I should move this closer to, to me, the camera, so that I can see better too. And then, oh, don't look at my legs. <laughs> she says, I have a callus, and my feet are not as good as you know. As what? She says, my feet are not so good as you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that she told me. She said that. Marissa was, um, she asked me, she's like, when was the last time you got a pedicure? And I was like, 2019, I think. And not because of uh, anything with like the pandemic or COVID, just because I don't usually like getting pedicures. Why not? I don't know. If I had to pick getting my hands done or my feet done, I would choose my feet. Probably because I'm like, ugh, let me do it. Get out of the way. No. I like to go and just sit there and relax and I like having pretty toes. Because I like everything going on. Yeah. I could probably put my foot up the table and then just like drill away at everything. <laughs> you should do a video like that. Just put your foot on the table. Show everyone how you do with that <laughs> Let me know if you guys want me to do my feet on camera. I think that would be great. That would be quite a video. You're like tall, so I wonder how that would how, how comfortable that would be. Probably not very much so. So I'm using the drill bit literally at zero not zero. At zero degree angle, sorry. Not at zero degree speed. And we're going up and down the lateral sidewall to remove all that dry non-living tissue. And you guys, let's go for a giveaway today. Let's reach 150 views. If we get up to 150 views, we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of the video. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What's for dinner at the Tomorrow Household today? That is a great question. I don't know yet. Is Paul cooking? No, that's what he's having me bring errands after work. Oh, it's too tired from saving the world. I said yes to your feet. We'd love to see you do your toes. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't do them that often though. Hold on, Max. Hello. Dropping everything today. <laughs> and everything is sticky with gel. It's like, why, Gloria? Move that dust. Let's put that cuticle one more time. I am going to, I'm trying to think. Go home? I don't have an exciting life like you do, Ignacio. Aren't you gonna go to the movies? No, the movie I wanna see is not out. It's not on, at cinemas else? anymore. You're no, I'm not gonna see Cruella. It was really good. That's okay, I'll take your word for it. It was really good though, I think you should watch it. Yeah. You can watch it for free online actually. Really, where? I watched it on the streaming website because I didn't want to pay for it. You don't want to come to my Disney Plus. Stuff. Oh, on Disney Plus you have to pay 30 bucks to watch it? Yeah, because you it'll be added to your account. It's like an early release premiere. For whatever. $30? But you might as well just wait a couple months and then it'll be free. With that movie is not worth $30. It was good though. Uh, not for $30. I thought it was good, but I, I wouldn't have paid it. We're going to use the Russian manicure Diamond Moon Pit. This one is from the set actually. Antonia says, leave Gloria alone. And we're going to buff out that dry, non-living skin. Gloria's actually really busy right now. She is working on the gel polishes that we're going to finish out giving uh, this month. Because you guys know if you order, what is it, over $100, your order comes with a free bottle of gel polish while supplies last. Gloria is busy working on those, actually. What other movies are out right now? A Quiet Place 2. Yeah. 
JP liked it. I didn't like it. I don't like the girl that, that the the mute actress. There's something about her that I just don't the care for. Girl. She's not little anymore. No? Mm-mm. Look at that, so clean now. I don't know if she's... Something about her, just I don't like it. You know what it is? Her eyebrows are too plucked. It's like you're in the middle of the apocalypse. How are your eyebrows? So Perfect. defined, yes. It just really, like, bothered me. I was like, this movie should be more realistic. Randy says, I'm going to be honest here, Max. I get at least a million live notifications about nails. However, yours is the only one that actually watches that bad. No, that's good, because mine is the only one that matters. Pink Army. Catherine says, watching as I put my little one to sleep and staring at my gorgeous one to go to pink glitter birthday nails while I'm in my world. Yay. How fun, I'm jealous, except for the horrible, humid weather in Florida. I was looking at uh, warehouses in Florida, in Orlando, and I was like, God, it's too hot. I can't. <laughs> Mike from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hi from Albuquerque. My question is, is the 123 Go just supposed to burn under when under the light? Uh, if it burns, you're probably applied a little bit too thick, or um, you would press the low heat option on the lamp. And that will help avoid any kind of heat spike. Or your nail could be really thin as well, too. So There's lots of reasons why gel, uh, gel can... Uh, Feel the crunk as I call it. Are your products hypoallergenic? Yes, they are, and they're not tested on animals. In America. Hi from Australia. Hi. Good day, mate. Everyone's gonna be going to Australia really soon. Well, not really soon, but they are basically giving the 2032 Olympics to Australia. Really? Yep, to Bris Vegas. I was like, Brisbane, really? Rat problem down in, in that area. Well, I, hopefully they'll uh, have it under control by 2032. I saw that on the internet the other day and I could not believe it. What? The rat situation. In Australia? Australia. I was like, mm -hmm. That seems a little crazy. <laughs> they got lots of problems in Australia. They had the uh, cane frogs and they released snakes and then they had the snake issue. Like the Simpsons episode? That was based on a true story. So what if your orders are $200? Do you get two? Because last time my order was $290 and I only got one. No, you only no, get one. you only get one. But you got free shipping though too, which is pretty cool. Hey from California. Hi from Cali. Any more tips and tricks on applying one to the go-nails? Practice and don't get discouraged. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So I need my things and my FU stickers. <laughs> Ooh, some thing stickers. That'd be so dope. Big little vampires. Mm -hmm. How cute. So when you're doing the hardware manicure, or as they call it, the Russian manicure, it's very important, you guys, to make sure that the nails and the hands are completely dry. Any kind of moisture will lead to lifting and to the skin, um, getting almost like an onion. So you want to do it dry. And Shorts, Max. Oh, oh my God, did you see my legs? No, don't look at my legs. Pay no attention to the legs. Do you still sell smelly insects? I don't, they've been discontinued already for uh, a while now. Yeah. But we have maxi ink sets. We have maxi ink sets and also the My Little Unicorn is getting uh, discontinued and so is the Crackle. They're making room for new BB Ombres and new fun gels and the two new gel polish lines which are Magic Syrup and Bon Bon. And we're also releasing an Acra Gel in a jar in two sizes. And I've been working on the name because we can't use the that word, but if I spell it differently I can. I was like maybe I can spell it P-O-L-I. Maybe. Or what was the other one I was thinking of? Poly Polytech poly gel or poly uh, nail poly nail gel or poly nail extension gel or mm -hmm. Dolly Jolly. I was looking up a um, word that sounds similar. Dolly Jolly Bengali. Bengali. 
Look how clean her cuticles are now. How do you feel, Ignacio? Like a brand new girl. Like a brand new woman. Cuticles are clean. Randy says she loves pots and jars. Pots and jars and all those good things. Call it happy pot. Happy? No. <laughs> that's what Tony says. Call it happy. No, that sounds like it's a uh, paraphernalia. Like Polly Rocket, Polly Pocket, yes. Kind of. This is Polly Gel, like Polly Pocket. With the I. Mm -hmm. And then watch them try to say me. I bet you called it Happy Gel. Name change to the No, it's a new product he's coming out. Yeah, so it'll be similar to Happy Gel, but it'll be designed for a jar. So it'll have a slightly different consistency, but it'll pretty much be essentially very, very similar. Would try to smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll also uh, come in a really small size. I think that'll do really well, especially for you know people that do nails. Uh... I think just for fun. Yeah. It'll come in a 0.5 and a 0.15 jar. Someone who just dabbles into the dark arts. Oh, we should take my dad somewhere though today. I forgot it's his birthday. Today's your dad's birthday? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday to Maxie. You didn't call him, Ignacio? I didn't know it was his birthday. You should call him and say happy birthday, Senor Max. What are you guys going to do? Take him to dinner? I don't know. This morning they went to... Um, Breakfast, right? Yeah, but I didn't go. Because my brother went and I don't speak to him. It's so awkward. Huh? It's so awkward. Oh my gosh. Like, we share a wall. I'm like, dude, you do not need to be watching action movies at 2 a.m. full blast. <laughs> Some people actually work. I actually, Marissa uh, helped me today with uh, some research and development. How was that? That was the first time you actually got nitty gritty, huh? Yes. How was it? And development. But then if we tell you guys what it is, every day they're going to be pressed to find out what it, when it's coming out. So that was one coat of nail prep. Now we're going to do one coat of primer. Everyone saying happy birthday to Max's dad. To Max Senior. Don Max. Don Max. How old is your dad today? 74. My grandpa's the same age as your dad. Really? That means they're really old. He turned 73. Really? So we're gonna use a nice little layer of pink press on gel and we're gonna overlay the entire phalange for the fantasy. What's your dad's favorite um, place to eat lunch? Anything. He's not picky. No. No, my dad? No. Have you seen his stomach? <laughs> Surprised he doesn't have diabetes. So take a nice little pearl, push it up towards the cuticle, and then down the sides, down the sides. I want to be like, oh dad, let's go to the movies and we can go watch Spiral. But it's not showcasing anymore at the movie theaters here locally, and my dad is probably one of the worst people to go to the movies with. No, because he talks throughout the whole thing. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't remember him talking when we went. Really? We went to the was that uh, before or after the stroke? Before. Oh, really? Yeah. It was when we went and saw that, um, what was it called? The one where they switched bodies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaky. Freaky, yeah. Man, like, that was a terrible movie. It was so awkward. <laughs> Why was it awkward? I remember when Vince Vaughn kissed the teenage boy. Because the girl's inside his body. She's like into that boy. Oh, and then they had the kissing scene? Yeah, and they're like, oh no. Good thing we had that. Um, to I don't think it was that awkward. I thought so. Really? Yeah, I was like, he's like your dad. Why are you. No.
she is Marissa, someone's ageist. I just felt uncomfortable. I'm a little ageist, Noelle. No, I, I guess it depends. Because I know some women love older men. And some women love younger men. I know like my mom's older sister and her husband are like 15 years or 18 years apart. Mm -hmm. Like some crazy number. But that was pretty common back in the day. She chose well, she chose a banker too. She was like, I'm gonna be set. 401k, here I come. <laughs> Make sure we apply it as smoothly as possible. Look at that, so beautiful. That movie that you wanted to see wasn't in theaters for very long. No, maybe like a month if, at the most. You can watch it on Vudu or on like YouTube actually. YouTube has it for 20 bucks. I was like, no Saw movie is worth $20. But you'd pay $10 at theater rate. No, because I'd lie. I would say like, I'm a student. <laughs> or a child, they don't check. I'm under 12. Thank you, Irene. She said my nails are really pretty. That is the pink press-on gel that makes them pretty. So we're gonna do a little trick. We're gonna turn the hand upside down for about 10 seconds. And this is gonna let the gel self-level out. So that way the surface structure of the nail is really nice and smooth. And don't forget you guys, if we reach 150 views, we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of the video. How many views? 150. So like and share and post in your favorite group. And I think that's pretty smooth. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's bake that for 60 seconds. Inside the dazzling dolly. I do want to see that, but I need to see that in my face. Oh, this is so cute! Well, I guess, like, during the pandemic, it's a movie that's made the most amount of money. The Mm-hmm. So it's doing really well. You know, I want to see that, and then I don't know if any of you guys have young children, but my son really wants to go see Boss Baby Number Two. Because when he was a baby, like two and a half, three, he loved the first one, mm -hmm. and just recently he got back into it and he's watched it over and over and over. He really wants to see the second one. I've and never I also seen. I want to go to the theater and see it. I've never seen any of them. They're cute little movies. For little kids, right? Yeah, they're funny. Like Secret Life of Pets, I went on the ride, but I was like, I don't know who any of these things are. That movie's good too. Hopefully. Really? Yeah. The really ride good. is so tight. I felt really bad for Wendy's husband because they actually had to uh, ask him to get off the ride. Really? Yeah. So I'm going to do a nice little coat of A Pink in number one, and this is going to give the nail bed a beautiful color. This one is a sheer pink. And for those of you that don't know, A-Pink is a three-in-one line. It smells so good. It's a nail strengthener, a color, and a base gel all in one. So it's very dope. A-Pink number three? Number one. Not to make it like too, too opaque. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, of, a little hint of color. Leather products, been using them for eight months. They're the best ever. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And we're actually going to have 12 A pinks by the end of the year. 12 total. So we are working on four new colors. And I think I spoke about it before. The four new ones are very like A pink right now. We have a lot of very like warm, deep, beigey kind of colors. So the new ones are going to be like a milky white, a peachy, and uh, a rosy pink. So just a little bit more variety in the line. Ask that? Yeah. Oh. Antonio, just, just remind me. Yeah, PSA. But you can use it as a base on your natural nail if you want to. JP has been in like a cleaning frenzy. 
Sassy. Really? Last two days. Who is he trying to impress? Sassy. <laughs> Bye. Let the rest Gloria. Gloria is leaving you guys. She's gonna go party. You're gonna go party with Gloria Renee? Yeah. Really? Where are you guys going to? Your cousin speaks Spanish, but you don't, Ignacio? He, he doesn't speak Spanish. What was that? He said a don de vamos. That yeah, means where are we I, going in Espanol? I even know that. He knows just as much as I do. Turn the head upside down. Upside down, upside down, upside down. Let that jealous up below. He said, I don't develop those, Gloria. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go live it up, wow. That'll be really interesting. <laughs> Bye, Carlos. See you later. Beautiful, look at that. Look how healthy her nails look now, you guys. Stunning. Let's go ahead and bake that. Un minute. Un minute, see the play. And then we're gonna cleanse the nail right now after it comes out. And we're gonna give it a quick little buff. And then paint on a little blue French for the fantasy. We're going to be using BB88 from I'm Neon because she doesn't want any glitter. She doesn't want anything crazy. She's being I'm trying to plain Jane. Because I want to do something like this. Look, every finger a different color. Wouldn't that be cool, you guys? Every time next does do my nails, I got glitter on all of them and stickers. I'm just trying to switch. Very over the top. Just trying to switch it up, you know, guys. Have you guys um, got your pussycat collections yet, though? I'm pussycat. Meow. I like the name too because it's very cheeky. It reminds me of Joseph the Pussycat Boss. It reminds me of Tom Jones. Tom Jones? Who's that? You don't know who Tom Jones is? Mm, Tom Selleck is. Take a little bit of hand sanitizer. We're going to remove the oxygen inhibition layer. Who's Tom Jones? You don't know who Tom Jones is? Wow. Who is that? That's really sad. Who is he? What did he do? Wow. He an what didn't he do? <laughs> He's saying, what's new, Pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Make sure the sides are nice and straight. I think he was Welsh. He's saying, uh, she's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's oh, a okay. lady. I know that song. That was a miscongeniality. Really? Yeah. And then he also sang, it's not unusual to mm. have fun with anyone. It's not unusual to see me cry. Yes, I know who it is. I know his songs. <clears throat> Vegas singer. No, the Vegas singer. Well, I guess he is kind of like a Vegas singer, but I always used to confuse him with um, Wayne Newton. Because Wayne Newton is Mr. Las Vegas. Said, I love the color nail will. The first one I saw him, I said, I need it. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Okay, I knew who Tom Jones, the songs, when he started singing. I just didn't know that wasn't me. <laughs> Women would throw their underwear at him while he sang. Wow. Yeah, and Jewish Elvis, too. Do you know who Jewish Elvis is? Mm -hmm. Neil Diamond. Okay, I know who Neil Diamond is. I wonder if he's really Jewish, though. My mom said the same thing about the Ray Cyrus. Though. What? When he came out with Icky Breaky, that women would take their bras and panties off. Really? Yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus with his mullet back in the day? Yeah. Oh my god. This was really popular back then. A long time ago. That was, was the year I was born. Was Shelly a fan of Billy Ray Cyrus? She sure was. Really? Yeah. She likes the Icky Breaky Heart. Oh my god. <laughs> so Shelly and your dad would go and line dance to Icky Breaky Heart? I don't think they would line dance, but my mom loved her some icky breaking. Bye bye. Toodaloo. I'm gonna go back in with the flame bits. Just to refine that cuticle, make sure it is really nice and snatched. 
I know that I've heard that song in Spanish too. Oh yeah, it, it sounds funny. No rompas más, mm -hmm. mi pobre corazón. They always play that at all the parties. Did they play it at your quinceañera? Yes, probably. What was your uh, your surprise song that you danced to? Or you didn't do that? I, I don't think I did this. Oh yeah, 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 my surprise song. So. We did a waltz because my grandma wanted us to be like old school, you know? Mm -hmm. And so like all the chamberlains and the damas, they did a waltz. And I had my brother and my older brother Joey. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle of the waltz, we broke into like a hip hop song. Mm -hmm. um, what was it called? Two Step. I can't remember if we did it. Uh, it's a rap. It's a rap song. It was a two step. A two step. Oh, it's not. Let me see you one, two step, no, run, No, it was like a full like rap. So we did that, and then and then once that ended, we resumed the waltz, and then it was done. Wow, sounds very. Uh, it was very eclectic. Its, it was very of its time back in 2007. Let us know in the comments below if any of you girls or guys had a quinceanera. Or been to one. Or been to one. Paul's never been to one. Paul's never been to a quinceanera? I know. And like, my cousin, she didn't really have one when I took her pictures. Mm -hmm. She didn't really have one. So my youngest cousin, she's a baby of the, out of the girls of the family. Mm -hmm. She's not a quinceanera. So then I told her, I said, we got to go all out. So then I can be the cool, fun, drunk aunt mm -hmm. like, at the party. Is Paul going? That way Paul can experience. But can he go? With all the uh, the stuff he's got, he's gonna have to figure it out. He's gotta have to go to a quince at least once. Yeah, they're fun. Mary's been to one. My town had its first pride celebration today. That's awesome, Kristen. Sharon's been to one. Jeanette's been to one. Jeanette had one. Oh really? Antonia said she doesn't understand them. It wasn't a thing on her Cuban side of the family. Really? Like a debutante. Did you have a super sweet 16? Because I know that's like a thing. Like if you don't have a team set, then maybe Or you're a debutante and you go to the debutante ball. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm just taking the purple buffer and smoothing out the top surface of the nail. I don't have to file it anymore because did you guys notice that I turned the head upside down? That uh, self levels out the gel and it uh, makes it really nice and smooth. I'm contemplating right now also how thick to make the... Uh, the blue line. Do you want it really thick or kind of more on the thinner side? Mm, I think you want the thinner side. Really? Because they're short, I think it looked pretty um, thicker. We can do that too, whatever you want to do. Jeanette said she also had a sweet 16. Wow. And Grace said she had a sweet 16. Don't you know boys have them too? A quinceanero? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to one? Me? Or a boy? No. When I turned 15, I had a barbecue. Mm hmm. Like a big one? Mm hmm. Oh, your family came. Yeah. Well, did a lot of family come? So so. But there was like uh, a good amount of people, I think. Yeah. There's a video of it somewhere. I would love to see that. A what? 15 year old Max. Really? I showed you 15 year old I don't think I look that different. Let's see. Antonia says she had a sweet 16, but on the Italian side. By that age, my parents were divorced and married. Was it a big party? A big shindig? Oh, so she's Italian and Cuban. Mm-hmm. You got the best of both worlds with that food. Do you like Cuban food? It's good. Really? What have you had that's Cuban? It's a meat, I don't know what it was called. Bropa Vieja? Or one Vaca of, Seca? One of my friends at Citibank is Cuban. It's a meat. Really? Mm -hmm. I really like Cuban food too. When we were in Dallas, the last night we were there, we actually ordered uh, Cuban food, and it was not very good. No? Mm -mm. Was it let down? It was. She was not the best. Especially because my dad knows how to make uh, Cuban food. Really good? Mm-hmm. Wow. Because my parents lived in a Cuban neighborhood in Los Angeles. Look at that blue, you guys. This is from I'm Neon. Isn't she stunning? It's so pretty. She is pigmented. <clears throat> and then what is that? My Puerto Rican friends? Wait, was it the platanos? Mm-hmm, the platanos. 
Yes, that was, that was pretty good too. Cuban food, Dominican food, Puerto Rican food, all of that. It's similar but not the same, but all of it is super good. It is. Very oily though. And lots of garlic, lots of carbs. Some good old yuca frita. Do you like um, German food? Uh, I don't think I've had enough to, to uh, honestly judge it. Have you been to Germany? Uh, only the airport. Paul was stationed there for a little bit. And how did you like the food? He liked it. He said that everything tasted like fresh. Really? Don't they, I think it's like a very meat heavy uh, kind of food, isn't it? Meat heavy diet. I don't know, honestly. There was like a good little German place when we were in the spring, but we never went to go try it. Really? Yes, I've never had it. That blue is like, pop, I'm here. Yep, I love it. And this is from the I'm Neon BB Ombre collection. It would be so pretty for like a French for the 4th of July. I actually talked to me this week. To she Beatrice? Asked how you were. Really? Yeah. What would you say? Did you tell her I miss her? No. But I was like, he's good, you know, he's at work. Every day. Every day. <laughs> but she did ask about you. That is the way of the tomorrow, people. What's the pink called you always use? Uh, pink press on gel or a pink so I'm going to use from my vegan f uh, four pack of liner brushes I'm going to use the pink one the light pink one and we're going to begin to draw out the smile line because these nails are short I don't really want a super dramatic smile line I want something a little bit more on the softer side I remember when I was like a kid and I wanted to French nails mm -hmm. my idea had like a whole little nail set but mm -hmm. we had like those, you remember like those little tape things for the French, you would put the little tape on your nail and then you would paint the white over it. Mm -hmm. Well, the tape. That's how I would do French. Really? The old school way. So it's wild to me, you just did it like that. Like you just drew it. Really? And you just clean it up and that's it. Well, I've also been doing it for like a thousand years. I know, but still. <laughs> One day he really just did that. Like, so fast. Because this polish self levels out, I am able to stroke it out and get it nice and even. Dorimon. Mm -hmm. That's what we should have called this color, Dorimon Blue. Mm -hmm. Make sure that blue is all the way into the corners. Oh, hold still for me. Concentration. Should we do like a little glitter line along the smile line? Do you remember how popular that used to be back in the day? Oh, yeah. I think you did it on like one. On one? That's too plain. Well, on. And then one little diamond. That's very, very early 2000s. Hola from Chicago. Hi from Chicago. Thanks for joining us today. Sure, that 
like that blue smile is all the way into the corners. Maybe it's just silver glitter under the blue. Mm hmm. That was very 2000s. With like a tiny little rhinestone in the middle. That was such a vibe. I just pulled out my gachos and my little monkey blowing the bubblegum shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gachos, and I'll get my sparkly belt, have my blue nails with the glitter, it's a vibe. <laughs> so now we're going to take a little bit of acetone. Can you get the acetone verse of Yes. Go ahead and put it all the way over there. Are you going to look good with these nails too? Hmm. Butterfly clips. But in your hair, like yes. scrunchies. Yes, I'm gonna need like butterfly clips of all of like blues and all the shapes and sizes. Yeah, I went to touch this so it wouldn't shake, and I smeared one now. Oh, great! This is one. Which one? The pinky, because I went to stop the thing from shaking. Oh, I was earthquake! Earthquake! Yeah, I was afraid your phone was gonna fall. Thanks, Randy. And we're going to take a little bit of acetone. And I'm going to use my Sailor Magic 3D brush, actually. What do I do with it? Oh, it and we're going to sharpen up that smile line. One sweep. We have, we've done some like Lisa Frank inspired stuff in the past. Lisa Frank was a whole too. But Lisa Frank was definitely more early 90s, I think. Mm -hmm. Than in the 2000s. I think by the 2000s she, she was stopped. already. Yeah, like, because they had that mall, the store in the mall. Mm -hmm. The Lisa Frank store. It was the best thing ever. I don't know what. I think it was probably like 2001, 2002 she stopped because I remember like second or third grade I had that big binder. Mm -hmm. Like the ones you get at the big store. Vividly I remember it. It was like the big fat plastic binder that zipped and it had like one of the little girls on it. And it was like zebra print but pink and black stripe. So cute. So kind of from what I, I from what I know, from what I've gathered. She had a really nasty divorce with her husband and they fought a lot about intellectual property and when you fight about intellectual property it's just a never ending litigation mm -hmm. and Did you have a prenup? No. And the 90s, no, most definitely. She was in the 80s too? Like, she was really popular then too? Probably. Oh, look at how sharp that smile line is. Do you remember ever going to the Lisa Frank store? Uh, vaguely. I was really never into uh, Lisa Frank. No. My grandpa fixed her washing machine. Really? I heard she's really skinny and has big eyes. Isn't there only like one known photo of her on the internet? Mm-hmm. How does she do that? Avoiding everybody. I heard she's not very nice. And my grandpa Frank was a serious man, so he fixed her washer. Was, was, uh, he was she nice to him or he doesn't really remember? I don't remember him saying she was where did she live? Does he remember? Like what side of town it was on? On the northeast side of town. Does she have like a big house in there? I think so. Kind of like where I live now. Like in the Maybe she's your neighbor. Does she still even live here? I think so. After she sold her building. She hasn't sold it yet. It's not sold? Mm -mm, I wanted to buy it. Do you know how much it's selling for? Guess. Five no. More? More. And it's been vacant since the year 2000, actually. Ten More. More than $10 million? Yep, 16. 16 million, and it's been vacant for 21 years? Mm hmm. Oh, no, honey.
up. Like, what are you using to clean up the smile lines? Acetone. Straight up acetone. Mm -hmm. And the Sailor Magic 3D brush. Trapper Keeper. Did she have a Trapper Keeper? I think Trapper Keeper was more 80s though, weren't they? Hello. I have seen that building though. It's really big. Yeah, 50,000 square feet. And it's nice because it's like all colorful. Like it was like very much her brand. It was uh, referred to as the Rainbow Forest actually. Yeah. Mm hmm. Is it by the airport? Yes. And it's on Lisa Frank Road too. She has a road. Mm hmm. Actually. How unfortunate that she had closed that down. Because now they have a, she has a website back up because I follow the Instagram it's mm -hmm. a friend store and on that store they sell like merch. So they had like hoodies and some t-shirts and then you can get like onesies for your kids mm -hmm. and they have like mugs. I think she probably makes a lot of money probably with licensing. Like other people? Using it like Colourpop did. Like the coloring books, like I see the coloring books at the dollar store all the time. Probably. Look at that. Isn't she lovely? Let's go ahead and bake her. So, you want stickers on one finger? Or do you not have time? Mm -hmm. Pause, press. Let's do one finger. You sure? Or we can put stickers on on Tuesday. Okay. Because they're easy. Paul's like it's hungry, Ignacio. Yeah, I know. I have to them. You didn't tell him we are going to get your nails done? No. For the last minute. Nice, uh, we, I was not sure if my mom was going to do her nails today or Marissa. She still sells her products to her son, so maybe that's what the website is in. And she doesn't manufacture here anymore either. She's probably retired. Uh, she's kind of still involved. Yeah, and she owns the, well, I don't know how much she owns or the, the, uh, the details of the, uh, the divorce. She probably had to sell, like, her stores and close everything down. Well, it also died out, too, because it wasn't popular anymore, too. So we're going to seal it with Wonder Gel. Look at that. It just melts everything so flawlessly. Yeah, that's what happens, like. Do you know who ABBA is? Mm -hmm. You don't know who ABBA is? The group? The music group? They mm -hmm. sang Dancing Queen? I know the song, but I don't know the name. Oh. Well, they were really popular in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And then into the early 80s when music started changing, they just weren't popular anymore, and that's when they broke up. Because yeah. it was more like... More like disco, right? Mm-hmm. But it's still very timeless, but... There was a point where the music wasn't popular anymore, and that really affected them. A nice layer of Wonder Gel over the entire phalange. That looks cute. Simple and cute. This color is really dope. I love it. Like there's a time when like Cher wasn't popular or Madonna. I think Madonna's music now is not very popular. Or like remember when Mary Kate and Ashley had their clothing line? Mm-hmm. Like in Walmart and stuff. That they really died out. Yeah. But they also were not very like people. Uh, people. 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 Mm -hmm. They don't like like uh, being recognized or talking to people or anything like that too. So I think that also like affected it too. And Tony says Lisa has per control of the company and the divorce she sued the ex and won. Good for Lisa. Yeah, and it was a really long divorce too. And I think that also affected a lot of the brand. And then she worked with Ed Hardy too. She did? Mm-hmm. And that was probably not a smart move. Because Ed Hardy was like so huge and then boom. Is he still there? Yes. Actually, I've seen some of his stuff when I was in Hong Kong in China. I remember we had like a, he had like a birth 
Mm -hmm. Ed Hardy? Yeah. I think they, they do a lot of stuff. So turn the head upside down. Mm -hmm. And let itself level out for about There's 10 so seconds. Okay, make sure everything is nice and even, nice and smooth. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Let's go ahead and bake it for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lab. I wonder if she went to school here. Where do you get your information from, Antonio? Because that lady's like hard to track down. Who? Lisa? Yeah. She still works out in Arizona. I wonder if she's still here. Probably. Let me check on one of my many, many phones. Let me see if we can find a picture of Lucy. Do you have Paul McCartney's too? Yes, I actually used to have a client that dated Paul McCartney's son. Really? Mm -hmm. He lived here. Yeah, he has a ranch here. Yeah. A lot of people have uh, homes here. Paul McCartney has one. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. In Tucson? Yeah. Oprah comes here a lot. Oh, the, that's the only oh. picture of Lisa Frank existing. I know that um, the Kardashians come to the Marival out in Marana. Lindsay Lohan was here for rehab? They filmed it. Really? Yeah. Lindsay Lohan was here for rehab. There was a, you know Teen Mom, the show? There was a girl on that show that came out here to a rehab center too. Really? We have a, we have a lot of people that come here for rehab. Don Tela Versace. Uh, who else has come here for rehab? Uh, Naomi Campbell. We're going to finish with a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. What do the girls think of this French fantasy? Your cuticles are so clean now. <laughs> Gotta get some good lighting for the reveal shots. Well, there you guys have it. What do the girls think? Super easy, super fun. Love this color. It almost, they almost look like acrylics, don't they? I'm like really proud that these are like all natural now. Right all 100% Gabino. <laughs> <laughs> well, my love, that's going to wrap it up because we've got to do the other hand on Instagram. I love you guys. Stay safe and I will see you on Monday in the next live video. Bye, everybody. Bye.